Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on plans and elevations. So what is a plan view? Well the plan view is the view of an object from directly above. So let's have a look at this pyramid. To see the plan view you have to imagine floating directly above our pyramid. So if you were floating directly above it you would see this shape. This is the plan view. So this is the plan view of our pyramid. Now let's have a look at the word elevation. Well elevation is the view of an object from a side. So let's have a look at our pyramid again. From our pyramid imagine if you were standing here. What would you see if you were standing directly in front of that side? Well rotating it around you'd see this two-dimensional shape. This represents our side elevation, the side view of our pyramid. Lastly, let's have a look at our pyramid again. With our pyramid, imagine if you were standing in front of it. Now if you were standing directly in front of the pyramid, what would you see? Well, you'd see this two-dimensional image which represents the front elevation. So in summary, the plan view, the side elevation and the front elevation is the image you would see if you are standing directly above the shape, or to the side of the shape, or in front of the shape. So now let's have a look at some past exam questions. Here the question states that the diagram shows the plan view, the front elevation and the side elevation of a solid shape drawn on a centimeter square grid. In the space below we're asked to sketch the solid shape and give dimensions of the solid in the sketch. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Now making this more three-dimensional you can see we have a circular top. So I'm simply going to identify the circular top of my solid here. Now, given the fact that our front elevation, so when you're standing directly in front of it, we have straight sides. So I'm going to add it to my diagram. The side elevation is exactly the same as the front elevation. So there won't be any difference here. Finally, the base of our shape isn't any different given our plan view. So therefore our solid is a cylinder. Now the question does ask us to state our dimensions and it states that we have a centimeter square grid. So therefore I know looking at my cylinder the diameter of our cylinder must be one, two, three, four centimeters across and the height of our cylinder must be one, two, three, four, five centimeters tall. Let's have a look at another exam question. Here is a solid made up of a square base pyramid and a cube. Each length of the solid has a length of 6 cm. And we're asked to draw the plan of this solid on the centimeter square grid. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Remember we want the plan view, so imagine flying right above our solid. What would you see? Well, first of all you recognize that all our lengths are 6 centimeters. Because you're looking from directly above, you'll see a square base with each length being 6 centimeters. Now the apex of our pyramid will be illustrated by two diagonal lines. Now let's have a look at our last exam question. Here the diagram shows a prism with a cross-sectional area of a trapezium. We're asked to draw on the centimeter grid below the front elevation and the side elevation of our prism. It states that the scale is 2 centimeters to 1 meter. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need.
A nice little strategy is to color code each length and just do one length at a time. So I'm going to look at the front elevation first. Here I know that this length is 2 meters. Now remember the scale, 2 centimeters for every 1 meter. So therefore I know our length has to be 4 centimeters on our square grid. Next, I know this height is 0.5 meters. Remember, 2 centimeters is 1 meter, so therefore I know it's 1 centimeter on my square grid. Next, I know this length is 2 meters. 2 centimeters is 1 meter, so therefore I know it's 4 centimeters. And lastly, I don't even need to know this length because I can simply just connect. Now let's do the side elevation. Well, starting off with this length, I can see it's 1 meter. 1 meter is 2 centimeters, which I'm illustrating here. Doing this length, I know that's 0.5 meters, so I know it's 1 centimeter, and it's the same on the other side. Now I also know that this length is 1 meter, so I'm going to connect it here, thus giving me the part of our side elevation. But, if I'm standing here, I also see the sloping face. So I need to identify what do I see when I look at this rectangle. Well, looking at this, I know these two lengths from this side elevation would have a length of 1.5 centimeters because it would be the difference in height from our 2 meters and 0.5 meters. This makes 3 centimeters on our square grid. Lastly, I'm going to connect knowing that this is 1 meter so this is my side elevation. This was a tricky question to do and just remember to do one length at a time and colour coding sometimes helps. So, in summary, the plan view is the view of an object from directly above. An elevation is the view of an object from a side, whether it's the side elevation or the front elevation. Plans and elevations can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. But as long as you remember the definition and use your imagination a little, you'll be successful in tackling these questions. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next video.